Okay, you can start. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Trainer Academy uh, show. Today, uh, our host is uh, Ainur Akhundova from Azerbaijan. Uh, she is English teacher. She has been working at the primary and the secondary school, uh, Science uh, 2007, as an English teacher. She um, also online trainer. She teach uh, uh, Web 2.0 and uh, STEM. Uh, she also is a major in uh, She's Village. She has been working in uh, municipal as a major. And uh, I know that she is an active uh, it winner. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Eleonora. Greeting from Azerbaijan. And welcome to all our uh, participation. And now please share my screen and I start my uh, presentation. Uh, I will tell about our quest. Uh, let's change kids story to this theme. And now, uh, you know, all the world, uh, all teachers try to teach uh, their student uh, project based because uh, our students loves to play and to learn new uh, seeing and to play with computer or telephone uh, computer games and our uh, uh, plan to okay. show you how we can change skip story to the STEM and to use web 2.0 tools please share my uh, just a second, please. I am writing to Imran. He didn't enable actually to me <laughs> to share it, and I have to <laughs> to write him. <laughs> okay, uh, I am waiting. Actually, while he uh, enabled that to me, we can uh, just uh, talk a little bit about your first experience with STEM, with uh, Change Kids Stories and everything. When did you start with that kind of teaching with your students? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, my, uh, I am an English teacher, but uh, I love to learn new things and uh, to learn uh, new teaching methods. Uh, I try to show my uh, students new way in learning and in STEM uh, we can uh, use many uh, web uh, 2.0 uh, uh, tools and we can share our ideas we can uh, flowering problem and my students love to drawing and uh, show their ideas and solve problem with help uh, computer games and I uh, choose this method and I am uh, yeah, I, Eleonora said I am a active uh, user at Vina and it at Vina uh, project uh, used uh, many uh, different methods to teach their students to teach our students and uh, STEM is a uh, very uh, uh, creative and very uh, communication and uh, very individual methods to teach our students. And now I want uh, to speak about uh, STEM, uh, what is STEM and why we can, we must to learn uh, to teach our students with STEM yeah. or STEM plus A. Uh, STEM is an approach to learning and development that integrates the areas science and technology, engineering and mathematics. And now uh, we have a new methods. Uh, it is STEA and uh, they add their art. And if we uh, use mathematics or technology engineering, we must 
mentioned now, uh, designing. And uh, we must uh, now about uh, to, uh, creative ideas. That's why we must know uh, about art. And STEM is very useful to uh, science te teachers and me too. Uh, because I use uh, many uh, story or poems and I uh, change it to STEM and uh, then I use many, uh, many uh, art uh, activities. And, uh, there is, uh, uh, just a second, sorry. Imran told me that uh, he actually enabled you to share your presentation. Uh, have you that in your mobile phone? Uh -huh. Okay, and now I try it to find okay. Bit. I think it will be good. Mm -hmm. There is some sick problem in my computer and I didn't what happened there. And I try to share my old uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, can you uh, see my screen now? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, we are uh -huh. in your presentation. Okay, okay. Now I will start. Okay, let's start uh, to show our presentation and uh, show our STEM plan. And my name is Aynur Ahundova. I am from Azerbaijan uh, and I am an English teacher and I work uh, since uh, 2007 in a general secondary school by named after Rasim Sain of Jaili village in Gobustan region. And I said about STEM and what STEM, uh, why I use it in my classes. STEM is an approach to learning and development that integrates the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Through STEM, students develop key skills, including problem solving, creativity, critical analysis, teamwork, independent thinking, and initiated digital literacy, communication, and etc. And also, we uh, must uh, to add STEM uh, art because it is useful too. And there is I show um, picture. And in our uh, STEM plan, what we uh, expect result. Understanding the me meaning of the topic and seeing really about it, he can bring the characters in the fair tale to life according to the, his dream or her dream. Can create using technology, improve speaking skills using Web 2.02. Okay, firstly, I show to my uh, student uh, video about our uh, story. Our story is a uh, Azerbaijan national uh, story. It is about a very little boy. His name is Chirtan. And uh, now I uh, read about a little about our story. Once upon a time, there was an old man the woman had a grandson named it Dwarf, uh, In Azerbaijan, it is Chirtan. Chirtan is a little, little boy, but Chirtan was very clever. One day, the Dwarf saw the children next door were going to the forest for fair food. So he, can, uh, he came and said to his grandmother, Grandma, let me go with the children the old woman gave permission called the children and gave each of them butter breads he also entrusted the dwarf to hear them on the way the children sat down and said my grandmother gave to you butter breads you must took me to your back his friends took him in this instead they gathered a fair food then everyone turned their fair food to the robbers the dwarf said my grandmother has entrusted me to you to take me fair food. The children were left helpless and took his fair food to his back. It was evening after they, he had gone a long way. 
darkness fell and they went astray. Then they came out of the forest and they can uh, they can uh, they saw a light coming from one side and a dog barking the other side. One said, let's go to the side where the light is coming. And other voice said, let's go to the side where the dog barks. They did not know where to go. The dwarf Chutan said, if we go where the dog barks, the dog will bite us. Let's go to the side of the light. Maybe we can find a way to go to home. The children went to the side of the light and arrived at the house of Jane. When the change saw them, he said to himself, Oh, it is well. I will eat them one by one at night. He fed the children some bread and put them to bed. After a while, the giant wanted to eat one of them uh, to find out if the children were asleep. He said, Who is asleep? Who is awake? When he heard this, the children quickly raised his hand and said, everyone is asleep, the dwarf is awake. The Jane asked, why the dwarf is, don't uh, sleep? The dwarf said, my grandmother used to cook, eat, and put me to bed every night. The Jane got up and quickly put a cake and fed it to the dwarf so that he might sleep. After a while, the Jane asked again, who is asleep? Who is awake? Again, the dwarf raised his hand and said, everyone is asleep, is the dwarf is awake? The jinn asked it again, why should uh, you don't sleep now? Every night, my grandmother would bring me a cup of water from the river with a sieve. The jinn got up, took a sieve, and went to the uh, river. And quickly, the dwarf wake up and and go to the river. And uh, he tried to put uh, on CV water, but he couldn't. When he finally got tired and wanted to go back, he saw the children walking on the other side of the river. He wanted to cross the water and fall on the river and asked to help uh, Chitan and his friend, how do you uh, cross the river? Chitan said, the giant uh, Stan said, go and find a millstone, put it around your neck, throw yourself into the water and you will pass. The giant believes the dwarf's words and went and put a millstone around his neck, threw himself and he uh, dropped into water. And uh, after reading we, uh, this uh, story, and we give our student scenario and I, said to them. Revive the following part of the story you are listening to. The student first read this part of the story and then prepare the antique swim. They read this part of the uh, story when the dwarf and uh, Chitan talk each other why he, uh, why he has not asleep and what he wants to bring uh, him. And we give our students task. First task, I said to my student, draw a picture of a giant uh, and a dwarf and place the text on the Chatterpix tool. What's the Chatterpix tool? Uh, Chatterpix tool is used to talk picture. Sorry. And, uh, speak uh, on Chatterpick tool. Then our second uh, task, create an ancient household item AC on the Tinkercard tool. Tinkercard, very uh, creative program. Uh, I used it in my class. And uh, there are uh, many uh, shapes. We can uh, use it and make some uh, items and household food. Firstly, I show my uh, student what's the video below on how to fix a uh, sieve. Sieve is a very ancient uh, thing. Uh, it is their picture there. They 
made by my students in on Tinkercad program. Here is I show you some example when I uh, teach uh, my students online. They send me some pic. How did they uh, see if, uh, by handcraft and by uh, help uh, Tinkercad program? And there is uh, some picture about Chirta, the dwarf and Jane div. And uh, there is some simples to how they are prepared it. And uh, we now we uh, learn a stage. We have some stage. Uh, first stage, uh, first of all, we listen to the story. It is uh, the characters in the story and they draw the uh, story heroes giant or chitan growth and or their uh, his friends second stage he revives the drawing of the heroes of the theater according to his fantasy world third stage the given part of the story is played using the chatapix tool they speak uh, their uh, words is who is asleep, who is awake, uh, everyone asleep, Chitan is awake. And for stage, uh, Halbir C, an Asian uh, household tool used in Fairtales, is made by Tinker Card program and made into 3D. And first, watch a video on how to make a sieve. And first stage, and distinguish between negative and positive characters in a fairy tale. Uh, which character they love mostly, and uh, which uh, character want they want to be in the future. And last, uh, we come to evolution, and there is our evolution context, research process, use interest presentation skills and use of time. Uh, we have uh, three level, beginner level, middle level, top level, and mark or, and uh, source and our opinions. And it is a uh, context, the, the students can understand the story, but can't draw connection from it. The student understands the story and try to draw consolation. And top level, the student can understand the story and can draw consultation and revive the information obtained. And research process, the student got a little uh, information. The student got many information by help teacher, which is middle level. And top level, uh, the student got many information by himself or herself. Arrow's interest, the project received very little attention. The project received some in a slightly mixed way. The project received ways presented correctly and accordingly, and they loved it. Presentation skills, as pro uh, the project was presented not bad. The project was presented very good, and top level is the project was presented correctly and accordingly. Uh, it is important how to use with time, and the project developed very late. It is uh, low level. The project developed one, two days late. The project developed in time. It is top level. And we can uh, write there our opinions and so on. And I uh, give uh, some feedback uh, paper to my student and uh, ask to them if I will do the task again, what we will uh, do and what we uh, will help uh, our, our children uh, to go back home and how we can uh, help to them and their friends. And they write uh, their thoughts uh, in on feedback paper. And then uh, we write a uh, strongest of the task and teacher's note about our presentation and teacher's signature. And at last, uh, our project about STEM, and we use their art tool to draw our hero's picture. And we 
use Chacha Pix tools and we make dialogue uh, with our students and we use technology and creativity and we learn how to solve problem. And at last, uh, my presentation finished. Thank you for attention. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I, I want to ask uh, something. Um, I, uh, I look your presentation. It's um, very mm -hmm. beautiful presentation. And uh, mm -hmm. I see many web um, uh, 2.0. I see chatter pics. And uh, mm -hmm. my question is, um, why you want to change something in your teaching? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's uh -huh. okay. Uh, changing in my lesson because uh, firstly, I want uh, to say in uh, all the world uh, now, our children love to play in computer games and they use computer and telephone uh, very uh, actively and very easily. Uh, and they like uh, to learn a new thing. And, uh, and uh, that's why I choose the way to learn based on the project to attract interest and attention to the lesson. Uh, they love uh, to sh show to us their idea and their thoughts and they want to make something new and they want to create new uh, project, new uh, things, how to use our old uh, things in modern world. And that's why I want to teach my uh, student in different way. And um, I am an English teacher, but I use many uh, subjects in my uh, classes. I use technology very often, and I use mathematics, and I use art, and it uh, helps uh, to my student to learn a new uh, thing and to learn English uh, very uh, easy, and they love it. And they, when they use a web a two point zero tools, they new they use new uh, words in there, and mostly pro, uh, web two point two zero tools are in English. And they when they use it, and they uh, practice their English at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, a second uh, question is, uh, do kids love fairy tales? And uh, how you present uh, them to kids? Mm -hmm. uh, my kids uh, love uh, story and uh, I use uh, not only Azerbaijan national story, I use many uh, different countries national uh, story, fairy tales in our uh, class. And in that way, they uh, know other countries' cultures and their uh, ancient cultures and modern cultures too. And it is very interesting to them. And uh, they love it. Uh, Thank you. And um, finally, uh, how much time you need for the um, prepare of your lesson? Uh, uh, I uh, use uh, many time because I uh, firstly I make a presentation and search some web tools and uh, make some uh, text or make some uh, games in it and I use uh, four or five uh, time hours uh, in oh one, month, <laughs> one lesson because it is uh, I want to show my students very creative and very uh, useful and easy uh, lesson thank you thank you for the answer 
And uh, thank I you. Know. Can I ask you something? Okay. Okay. Okay. How old Azra. are your students? Uh, my uh, students is in different ages. They are six from six to for uh, fourteen. And okay. uh, but I use uh, oftenly project uh, plan and story in my little uh, students from six to eleven or uh, twelve. In my big students like to make uh, something uh, by himself or themselves. Yeah. So mm -hmm. English is uh, uh, as a first foreign language since uh, which class in your country? Uh, English is a second language in our yeah. country yeah. and mostly we teach uh, from one class to mm -hmm. uh, eleven. Yeah, okay. Very interesting, really. I really enjoyed in your presentation. And I know when I saw that, uh, I'm sure actually that your students really enjoy in your uh, lessons. Maybe some of our guests, we have here two of them. Maybe she wants to ask us Okay. If they want, they can ask. Probably we have one, I think, from Azerbaijan and the other one I don't know from which country is. But if they want, they can ask you or someone else something about teaching, about STEM. Okay. I have uh, some of our uh, Global Training Academy members, Kular Bayramova. He can ask me question in Azerbaijan too. No I can translate it. <laughs> you will translate it <laughs> us in English. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, now I translate Gular's okay. <laughs> thoughts. He, firstly, he greetings all of you. He happy to uh, meet you. And uh, he liked our presentation. And uh, he said, uh, I can uh, speak in English, but uh, in my mimic, uh, you can see my uh, thought. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can also um, tell her that uh, we are here from different countries and I sent her greetings from Bosnia and Eleonora from Romania. And here is yes. Imran from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Bye, Imran. Thank you, thank you, all of them. I'm really sorry for joining late, okay? So I think uh, we are, uh, um, it's, it, it's a really amazing and wonderful uh, session. But uh, we are going out of um, uh, time. Is uh, going to be finished. So I will. I would request if you join again for just uh, uh, okay. So it will be continue again after five minutes. I think. Okay. If no the meeting problem. is closed, you people can again join, and then we will discuss a little bit more. No problem. Okay. No problem. <laughs> we okay. are ready. It will end in one can... minute. <laughs> Yeah, Azra, you can conclude this minute, uh, this uh, session. You can pay thanks to all as uh, a host, and you can conduct the meeting, and then we will join again. So I think that really we enjoyed in Einar's presentation, and we we can continue. I think at about at about one minute uh, time rest, and our other uh, other guest here is. Uh, from Azerbaijan, I know, or from other country. And uh, now I looked. Uh, yeah, Ümmü Süleymanova from Azerbaijan. Yeah. And, okay. Ümmü Melme, danışa bilersiniz, şirlerinizi deyabilersiniz, mən sizi tərcüm edərəm. Please speak. Melme, hello, hello. Melme, ilk defa olarak, İngilizce bilmediğimiz çok çok tersi bir şey söyledi. 
gözlem edeceğiz, öğrenirdim. Biraz yaşım az olsa öğrenirim, yakın da 55 keçiyor da yok. Ama çok tercih ederim, bir mermeyle alakalı bir adam. Bir çok tercih ederim ki, yani, ama aynen vermeyeyim, incesin bir olsa. Ama sonra başka bir sürü ne demek ki? Ne alır, bana sana da sana aynen vermeyeyim, bana bir sürü. Alal da aynen vermeyeyim, öpürüm. Mermelere de tercih ederim, teşekkür ederim ki, siz şey, söylemem diyen olmazsın ki, küllerin bir meselemde üzerinde hoş aura var. Hoş tersilat yarandı mende. Ne küllerin bilmiyorum, özellikle kura bilmiyorum. Çok tersi. Çok sağ olun annem. Sağ olun, teşekkürler. Öpürüm, teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. Thank you very much. Uh, Diazra, our uh, teacher said, uh, I am pity that. Uh,